Now, PZ Cousins, Nigeria's uh, company, saw an 86% increase in its pre-tax profits to 3.91 billion naira. The shampoo producer also saw a 310 million naira revenue decline to 51.54 billion naira. The CEO of PZ Cousins, PZ, uh, Cousins Nigeria, Christos Janopoulos, joins us for more. Good morning, Christos, and perhaps you could just uh, give us an overview of the performance there and what's been going on in the market, and also in particular, uh, what's happened there. Mixed results in a way, because on the one hand, you've got uh, your margins contracting because of a rise in cost of sales. On the other hand, profit before tax up because uh, you had a decline in operating expenses. So a bit of a tension there. Perhaps you can resolve it for us. Hi, good morning. Yes, indeed, uh, a challenging set of results. Uh, we just about managed to maintain the same revenue as the previous year. However, the profit uh, showed a significant uh, increase. And as you correctly said, the main driver has been uh, the reduction in our operating expenses. This is uh, largely due to the automation uh, projects and uh, capital expenditure projects that we have done over the last uh, two or three years and which we are now seeing the results for. Well, that sounds promising. And uh, in terms of uh, the guidance for the full year of performance, uh, what, are you, what are we expecting for investors uh, for the next year or two? Uh, for this year, we expect the results to continue the way that uh, we have seen now in uh, quarter three. Uh, going forward, uh, obviously the uh, expectation uh, has to be to uh, improve, however it will be depend largely upon the circumstances uh, here in Nigeria. Uh, we do still have uh, significant issues in the north, uh, which is affecting a very large uh, part of our market. Well, give me an idea of what those issues are. Uh, we, we do know about insecurity, but what does that actually translate into when you are trying to do business on the ground, what are those issues for you? What do you have to overcome? Uh, well, actually to find our uh, customers in, uh, in the shops. Um, consumers, uh, when there are uh, insecurity issues, uh, stay uh, locked up at home uh, because it's unsafe to be on the roads. Uh, and basically what happens is that a reduction in consumption takes place uh, and that impacts us directly. And in terms of your distribution, uh, presumably that is affected as well. Uh, safety and security of deliveries, of uh, stocks, of warehouses. Uh, it is, uh, but to a much uh, smaller extent, because uh, we have uh, warehouses across the whole uh, uh, of the country and we are capable of uh, moving the goods to those uh, uh, warehouses. The problem is getting from the warehouses to the retailers and then onwards to the consumers. Mm. Now, one of your investments is uh, in a palm oil uh, refinery. That's obviously linked to the product that you're doing. Uh, what impact is that investment going to have, first of all, on your costs, and secondly, on your ability to grow uh, your product range? Um, on our costs, uh, it, well, it's a commodity. Palm oil is a commodity, so when uh, prices go up, uh, depending on uh, what can be passed on to the consumer, it will affect uh, uh, profitability. However, that's not the, uh, uh, the main point. The main point about palm oil is that uh, we are bringing back to Nigeria uh, what rightly belongs here. Uh, currently, we import raw material in order to uh, produce vegetable oils, etc. Uh, we are now uh, beginning to uh, grow locally. Uh, our refinery uh, was uh, completed about three weeks ago and we have already started sales now uh, to our B2B customers selling in bulk. Uh, we expect our consumer business uh, to get off the ground in the next two to three months. Well, fascinating company in a fascinating economy. That was uh, Christos.